right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to this live FFA showdown. It's going to be myself and the Byzantines. We got Wang on the Mongols, Contende, the Lord of Shinobi on the Japanese. We have Clover on the Holy Roman Empire, Muffin Man on Joan of Arc, Hills on the Abbasid, Sorona on the Chinese, and Raiden on the Ottomans. So it should be pretty fun. Now, some scary civs, of course, Mongols with their trade and their wonders that don't need stone is very frightening, but hopefully we'll be able to crush the world with olive oil and, uh, you know, <laughs> bury them in some nicely cooked food. We'll have to see how this goes. All right, so let's focus here. A little bit of this. Not a bad spot. We can certainly migrate to the uh, corner. It's not like great either though. So our gold is right here. So let's get our first cistern up like this. Looks good. And go and see if we can discover what the old empire looks like. All right, so we'll probably do a standard, um, not standard, but excuse me, a very greedy kind of cistern build. I think is going to be the place. We're actually going to open up on stone. We're going to go two on stone, two on gold, and go from there. No trade on this map? Oh, yeah, that's our that's our French player. Really? Interesting. So this is mega random. You never know what you're going to get. All right, so get you here, and then you can go up here, buddy. Do that. And outstanding. Cool, cool, cool. Life is good. All right, so we're in good shape. We have some fishing down here. I need to see if there's access to it, though. It's like a, like a little fishing alcove that's kind of like secret. It looks like I can't get through here. There's like a full on tree line. Oh man, if, if there's like a secret mountain like up here where you can like get like a wonder or something. Okay, we're definitely gonna lumberjack that out later and see if there's like a secret alcove. That would be super cool. That's what's so fun about FFA. Like all the little like nooks and crannies on the map that you can discover. It's just like such a good time, man. Okay, so we've discovered Serona. He's gonna be on the Chinese. That's probably gonna be our first victim depending on how things go. But we're doing a very greedy like eco build, so. We won't attack them until probably like mid castle imperial. We just need to kind of keep scouting around to see what uh, lies beyond the bale here. All right, so berry bushes are nearby. Obviously, we're going to go grand winery. Um, set it up next to the berry bushes initially. Granted, I could set the grand winery up back here to just be safer. Yeah, just like long term planning. And 1v1, you would obviously want it there, but maybe in this format. Oh man, I'm not finding like any sheep also. Just like none whatsoever. Let's see if we can find some here and drop them off at the base. We might have to. <laughs> Get to the straggler trees, who knows? All right, let's get this down and we can get you over here. We want to like have it be like as close as possible. Yeah, that looks good. That's a good enough sister in there. All right, we found a couple sheep. Great, so we're not gonna have to uh, dive onto the berry bushes out of desperation. And you know what, just for the aesthetics, I know you guys want it. So, eh, you know what, we need to hit all those berry bushes. So we can't really afford to do that. All right, let's go here. I was gonna like put it in a straight line so my aqueducts would look more symmetrical, but you know, it is what it is. Let's keep exploring around our empire and we still have stone being gathered. So we should be able to have three cisterns by the time we hit uh, proper age. Okay, that looks relatively good. That's not like amazing looking, but it's all good. I'll try my best not to have like disgusting, ugly farms for you guys too. I know I'm the dark lord of that, so my reputation precedes me. Okay, so we'll switch you guys on, go here, switch on to stone for the 2TC. Should be able to age up here in a second. Okay. And uh, we just need the turn in. And yes, we'll do the grand winery. So let's grab you guys. And we could just do like a two build. Oh, man, it sucks that it's like forward here. Like back there is probably a little bit safer. Yeah, although, yeah, we'd have to lumberjack through those trees. Okay, wow, we just found some water. Is there deep sea fish? It's, oh, there actually is some deep water fish. Wow. Okay, well, in another life, you know, <laughs> it's not meant to be. So next what we want to do is hit the straggler tree. So we're going to get a handful of our bills, do this and switch here. And uh, cool, now we'll keep you on those. It should be A-OK. -okay. So we see some water in the corner, which is cute, but I think with our current kind of setup, it's probably not gonna be worth. Holy Roman Empire here, so they're gonna be looking for relics. That's gonna be the dreaded clover. All right, stone is being gathered. We're gonna build a bunch of cisterns. Uh, should have a third one up, coming up here soon. So let's get you. You guys can go turn in, and just, just to be lazy, let's go ahead and secure this, and we can get a cistern up here. So right there, perfect. All right, so our economy should be pretty good. We're going to start bathing in olive oil soon, all in due time. And uh, yeah, no complaints, man. I think Byzantines are pretty good. I just did a tier list. Um, I don't know if it's going to go up before or after this video, but I just did one on um, on all the factions. And I feel like Byzantines are like a solid B tier. I don't think they're like top tier, but the olive oil mechanic is pretty good for FFA for sure. All right, so let's get that crooked. Oh, it's kind of a fun spot. It's like a little hill. Yeah, this is actually a cool map. I like this one so far. It's got like these little weird rivers that are kind of like hard to get to. And uh, yeah, then we got the top here. So I'm kind of isolated to an extent. Um, we do have some, some foes nearby, but for the most part, it feels pretty safe. Early aggression from HRE in China. I should probably scout. Okay, we have the trade post here. 
House is coming up, so we should be able to block, get around that supply block. Let's come back here. And yeah, as long as HRE isn't trying some like weird ass burger rush on me, I think we'll be fine. So three is probably too many, so let's do that. Got you there, and we could get another sister, and I think three is gonna be adequate until we get our second TC up. And we could set up the second TC. Where do we want it? Um, in the back, eh, maybe out, out front here, because we can surround it with farms. Call it a day. Yeah, I don't think we could even get there. That's like this weird, you know, forbidden land. All right, so we've been scouted by the Holy Romans. We're gonna see if we can get some intel here. I see two relics. Our odds of getting relics when there's Jushis and HRE in the game, especially if, since we're going 2TC, is not gonna be very good. But yeah, we have olive oil. We don't care about like relics quite as much. We still care, obviously, but it's not like, like oh my God, we need the relics, right? All right, let's keep on this. And for now, is there any more berry bushes? Honestly, not too many berry bushes around us. So we're gonna get you on wood and we should be able to get that second TC soon. It's not like the fastest. Most optimal build, but doesn't need to be. Oh, hello. This is kind of a cool spot. We got some berry bushes up there. All right, so we can grab those later on. All right, all right. So almost ready, and we're going to keep collecting stone beyond the necess necessity for a 2TC because we want the um, we want the more the cisterns to be coming, right? So let's grab you, come down here, and they can just build that second TC. So for now, let's go ahead and set it up. Hmm. We could do this and yeah, maybe down here and here. Because then we'll be able to build farms around it and it should be within range of that. Okay, so that's coming. And uh, now let's go scout the rest of the map, see what we can find. That's looking okay. And we can set up another cistern here. I believe it costs 200. So which way would we be expanding? Probably up here. Yeah, because there's a lot of like good resources up there. So we're gonna wanna get that cistern network uh, popping off there. Grand Winery, we need to start gathering some wine for the boys. Second TC is gonna be coming down. And do I wanna like wall anything just to be like extra safe? Is there gonna be like a, like a China rush? That would be pretty wild, but you never know. So let's like secure all these resources up top here. Uh, just play it really, really cautiously. So he's cruising out of the map. We're gonna get another cistern, but we're gonna keep it up till we get level five networks, and then we're just gonna build a bunch around, you know, a bunch around the winery and just cackle all the way to the bank. So, should be good. Let's start getting some dudes on gold. And uh, yes, we're gonna need it. Let's get you and connect right here. Get you on gold, and that is gonna be pretty good. Although it looks like I didn't fully connect this one. It's very easy to do if you're looking like the wrong camera angle. Sometimes it's, it's, it's pretty troll. Yeah, I like our position a lot though. It's feeling very good overall. Get some more houses down here and uh, we can get the upgrade on the houses if we want to, the turbo upgrade. Feudal age for the Wang. Uh, he probably was fishing, I suspect. Yeah, okay, so we got fishing up here for Wang. I'm just glad I'm not his neighbor. You know, somebody who's fishing against somebody who's not is typically gonna be a rough one, so. All right, relics, do we have any chances of grabbing any? Uh, probably not, the last um, outpost, hmm, the last cistern, probably back here, because we'll just like expand our olive vineyards in the back there. And uh, so we just, <laughs> we just ran straight through his base. We're like, yeah, all right, no worries, man. Yeah, thankfully he wasn't paying attention, so we're just gonna get away with it. All right, so we got a couple on gold, let's jump on here. And then we can start doing like really, really greedy um, farms. This is like so greedy. I would never do this in a 1v1, like building this like early farm, like kind of network like this. Yeah, this is like super greedy. All right, so we'll set you up out front and let's get that last cistern, level five, and we'll do it out here. And yes, that can be like our military front basically. All right, so that looks good. Do that. And uh, yeah, should be all good. Should be all good, man. Although maybe building it in the back would be better. Yeah, I think it would. So let's like, cancel this and we can go do the cistern back here. I, I like that idea better. I thought that was safer. All right, let's do that. Connect here and then we can stop on stone for now. Yeah, I, I like that idea quite a bit better. Okay, let's do that. And then we're starting to get the olive groves going. The olive garden is flowing like the salmon of Capistrano. We have the two TCs producing. Uh, we can get some eco upgrades if need be, but yeah, I like that. And then we can like slap down some military buildings back here to uh, make sure we're not like gonna be completely undefended against an attack. Lehman's and I are obviously my go-to. And uh, yeah, so, all, so far so good. Um, yeah, we, we're, this is a really cool map actually. I'm liking this one a lot. Um, do I wanna get some walls in the front? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's get you guys on wood and uh, update our wood line. Yes, and now do we wanna get some palisades? Probably and probably. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. This better be safe than sorry. And we do have some vulnerabilities in the back of our base. Let's call you guys through. And from here we can, I don't know if you can actually get through here, but just to be safe, let's just set up a, a stone wall down there with our, our excess stone. All right, so eco is going. We got the farms going around the Grand Winery. So the olive oil should be flowing here. Now we need to decide what mercenaries we want to go to. So Lehman's and I, we could get a couple of those. Um, I'm scouting the map, but I, I'm not scouting the HRE. So if they go like, if I see them hit castle, yeah, I, I need to be very, very... Okay, whoa, holy shit. 
Oh my god, what the hell is this? That is Contende, the Shogun. Is, he's not going to run straight across the map and come at me, is he? <laughs> is he? Uh, just to be safe, let's go ahead and get this. If he comes straight at me, yeah, we got to like run him the other way. Let's run him this way. <laughs> just see some like wild samurai running through the trees like, oh my god, what's even happening here? If he came straight at me, that's going to be pretty troll. Um, but thankfully we did set up walls and I'm going to have a tower set up here, so should be okay. Berry bushes are being cleared and uh, we're developing a very early farm economy, which is like really greedy, but I think it's okay. So let's set that up and spam out some spears just to be safe. He's making me a little bit nervous with the way that he's, he's looking, he's got that crazy look in his eye, you know. He's got that crazed, crazed appearance. All right, see that? Get the housing upgrade and um, olive oil is popping off now, so we should be able to do a little bit more. Okay. I, I wish the control select all didn't select your, um, yeah, we can build some like houses around the periphery as like some scouting tool to see if like any crazy samurai are at our door. Just looking for blood. All right, farms, yeah, farms are still coming. Let's go ahead and keep building them and keep building them. It looks like he's after somebody, I don't know who. So we see blue here. Oh, might lose those sheep. It's a shame, but it's all good. Oh, maybe we're gonna make it actually. Let's make the run back. I don't think the samurai were coming our direction. I think we're okay for now. So let's set that up and get a gatehouse going here also. Should be good. And uh, yeah, now we got the mercenary. So grenadiers are really good. Uh, how many cavalry sibs do we have? The launch neck are okay. Strelts here are a nice late game unit, but so are grenadiers. Let's go ahead and go with the, um, mm, the ghoulams are awesome too. And so are tower elephants. Yeah, but we can make Rangians. They're pretty rad, right? So let's go ahead and do the Camel Riders and get the Camel Support strategy. It's really, really good. So basically, you can get the um, Camel Support and, uh, and yeah, it, it, they come with their upgrades. So all of your, like, Rangians and different troopers are going to be very jacked. All right, let's get some upgrades, upgrades. We're being so greedy right now. This is, like, a super slow age up. From here, we need to get the Wheelbarrow, so we're going to set you up like so. The Wheelbarrow upgrades. We see some resources being secured in the middle. But let's go ahead and cut and start banking a little bit. And uh, almost got this done. All right, there you go. And we're going to have a nice, somewhat symmetrical farms. It's going to be all right. We're going to survive. You guys believe what you're seeing? This is so greedy, though. This is a 1v1. I would be dead like 10 times over. But, you know, it's epic, so. Hey, look who made it back, too. That's pretty nice. We got a couple sheep here. We can go ahead and slap them there. We got the Lehman and I. We're all good. And the age up should be coming shortly. Let's keep you a couple of you guys on stone. And yes, we should be able to buy our way up. So let's just keep buying and just banking here. Almost have enough. And um, all right, Contende, if you want to be next to turn, be my guest. The, oh, okay. They're, they're, they're politicking against me already. So where do I want to hide a landmark? Do I have any like cheeky spots? We have this like wild sheep over here. Um, that doesn't look good. If I could get up into the mountains here, that would be really cool. We'll send some bills to Lumberjack out this area soon. So maybe I should just go do that now. So we're going to get you guys and then come over here and lumberjack this. We're going to lose out on some gather rate, but I think it's worth it for like the long-term investment. And we'll get the Golden Horn Tower real quick here. All right, so let's get that in the back. Get the uh, Golden Horn Tower. Yeah, we want the free units. I think that's going to be good. I like how they're using me as like a bargaining chip. All right, people ca hitting Castle Age. Um, we could probably assign more here. Do we have any attacks coming our way? We do not. Lumber villagers are heading out there. All right. Cool. We can get some more farms going, so let's get you guys, and um, we can move down here and do this and this and this, and then we can do this, 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 this. Oh, hello. Am I being killed by a barbecue into the sun? Looks like I am. A wild barbecue is over there. Contende, though, looking like he wants a little action. Yeah, looking like he wants a little bit of that. Did we manage to get by? We did, but not with too many, but still it's going to be enough to, you know, start lumberjacking and exploring that option. I think it's worth the investment. Wheelbarrow and food gathering, let's get those. And now we can start getting some mercs. So let's get some mercs just to make sure we're secure and uh, get that big olive economy going. We definitely want to keep in the front. So I'm going to get like a bunch of bills and start hitting this stone over here pretty hard. Um, I, I, I want to keep in the front of my base. Okay. So they're going to lumberjack there. And we also want to get the double blacksmith and we can put it right here. Um, Cause then we can, eh, probably just one's fine. Yeah, probably one is fine. Golden horn tower, are there still relics to be grabbed? There are a couple. I might be able to get like a priest out there and grab some. We'll see. All right, so we got our army here. Gatehouse has been built. And yeah, this like, the fact that our grand, grand winery is there is kind of like stressful. Okay, so we'll probably save for better mercs. Let's go ahead and set this up here to get the production. So that's gonna be you. And we need a crossbow range as well. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so let's get you, do this. Okay, the military's coming along. We've hit Castle Age. Let's go ahead and get a priest out and see if we can grab any relics. 
As a matter of fact, yeah, we'll get this, then we'll come back, take our troopers, head up this way. Uh, let's get the veterans the upgrade, and uh, we need to get the Lehman tonight upgraded too. All right, so we got a lot here. Um, we're going to go ahead and go Dialectus on here for the turbo upgrades. Should be nice. Let's get the ranged armor upgrade. Always a good one to get first. And uh, all right. So you guys pop it off. Definitely can get some more olive farms down here if we want to. Looking good. Keep should be coming up soon. And um, yeah, back to wood you go. We're lumberjacking here. I would like to get that Imperial Landmark like hidden over there if possible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not today. Not today, dude. This we're claiming this in the name of Byzantium. Oh, he's got some, he's got army here actually, so yeah shit, we're we're probably gonna lose that. Alright, so that's good. Let's get some Vrangians. Um, get some crossbows coming. And we might be able to do a Grand Theft Auto of this. We're gonna try. So let's try that. And then you, homie, grab this and run away. If we can get, like, one relic here, I'll be, I'll be honestly. That'd be pretty sweet. Alright, so we've, we've gotten the relic. Did we? Oh, no. He, oh, man. He, like, totally screwed up his pathing here. Alright, that's unfortunate. That was really shitty. But it is what it is. Alright, so let's gather up. Let's get some crossbows coming. And um, now we can get a keep out front. So let's go ahead and slap the keep down. We want to have it, like, out here, I think. Yeah, this is probably a good spot. We can have it, like, up on the hill here. It's a, a great little position. Okay. Get, uh, eco upgrades. We need to hit gold pretty hard. We have way too many on stone right now. So let's turn you guys back that way. Okay, let's move out and see if the relic's still there. It looks like he got taken. So we're going to go north and see if we can find some relics. Our quarrel with the HRE is passed. They, they they have won that little relic duel, that is for sure. So let's get the mountains all secured here, get you guys secured here. And then we need to get a forward, um, a forward, uh, okay, there's still some relics up there. Maybe we can get a couple more. Let's go ahead and sell some resources, sell some olive oil, and get you guys coming up that way. All right, so the journey is going. We're not going to get that relic, but maybe maybe we can get this one. Yeah, we're going to go. It looks like the relics on the top side of the map aren't really being, like, grabbed in any, you know, super uh, super necessary. Uh, yeah, so that's good. Let's get that. Then we can get a lot of military infrastructure outside the base. And that'll be, like, our bolstering point. This, like, keep is, is a really, really nice spot. Okay, so let's go stand on these relics. You guys have finished that off. So now let's just get you on uh, on this goal for now. All right, let's do that. Upgrades, and let's get the teardrop shields. We got the religious characters coming, so let's get all those homies coming up here and see what we can grab. Okay, he just literally ran right through somebody's base, and um, that crossbowman needs to head up here. Sorry about that. It was a, it was a prank. Let's get you guys onto the trees. And uh, how are we looking here? Yeah, are we finding any, like, hidden areas where we could build our Imperial Landmark? I don't want to delay Imperial too much. Okay, so these guys are coming, and let's go here, here, and here, and get that relic. Outstanding. So they've gotten that secure. Now what we can do is we can start getting some more racks out here, and also getting some more archery ranges. All right, cool. So now we have, like, feasible military. It's going to be decent, and we have another one of you coming. So that relic is secure. So we're going to wait and gather up and just, like, escort back with the entire army. Looks like we might be able to get some more, actually. Although he's probably... No, we don't want to ha send him back on his own. He could just get owned, right? Okay, so olive oil. Um, we can make some camel riders. So let's go ahead and make a couple of those. You never know when an attack is going to come. And uh, you, buddy, can head over here and grab this relic. These are... I'm surprised these are still in, on, on play here. Let's just get as many upgrades as we can. And, you know, we can just max out on houses here. Screw it. All right. So I don't know why these guys are attacking this. That was definitely not in my intent. And um, so we grab that and we grab this. And then we just like have a like a party so they can come here and here. Let's get camel riders and crossbows. And the walls are coming up in the south, which is going to be great. All right. Somebody's trading here. It looks like that's blue. That's hills. I don't know what kind of trade we're looking at. But wow, I just got two relics there. Hell yeah. Am I really going to get away with like three relics? That's awesome. All right. So let's go back here and set up the church. You can put them in the olive oil building, but honestly, I often don't. I just put them in the other one. All right, so the army's going to escort the crew back. And, um, yeah, we just continue making our uh, our safe little empire. Okay, let's do that. And um, we got the barbecue of the sun here, so we're going to kind of set this up like so. Grab some of these gold villagers. And is there any? There's, like, barely any stone in the map. Yeah, we got that. Let's go see if we can get this. But, yeah, getting three relics, like, with a 2TC build is, like, super, super lucky. I wouldn't say lucky, but it seems like a lot of people didn't, didn't you know, play fast relic grabbing. So it, I, I guess it's fortuitous would be a better way of describing it. All right. So, yeah, you guys are coming. The relic masters. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Looks like somebody's dead. Holy shit. Oh, my God. The Chinese player is literally, like, encroaching on my territory here. Okay, so we need to get these relics back and prepare for a potential war with the Chinese. Um, so let's go ahead and get the uh, boom and boom and boom. 
Siege workshops. You guys just keep hustling down here. Need to get a keep going too. And we have all these villagers heading over here. Wow, he is he is getting really close. I didn't know. Yeah, okay, they're talking about something or other. Okay, come back this way. It was just a prank. And um, as far as this goes, is there any more walls we can do here? Yeah, those are going to finish soon. So let's do this. The Muffin Man has fallen. And wow, China China's expanding right towards me. Okay, we got to kill them. I could go Imperial here, but I don't have the chance to hide any landmarks. Uh, can we hide them anywhere here? Yeah, that's actually not a terrible spot. It's like, it's hidden. It's off the beaten path. Um, but then I don't get to use it really. Yeah, I guess I could just like slap that down. That's so janky. We're just gonna have to play like traditionally, which isn't fun, but um, you know, we're gonna do the foreign uh, artillery school. All right, so those guys are doing it and um, that's gonna be Imperial Age. We got the three relics. So let's get you guys, get you to go turn in here. And uh, yeah, now we just gather up. Let's get some more camel riders, some more of these, get some mangonels and uh, Imperial Age should be ours soon. We're getting stone in the middle, outstanding, and the olive the olive oil is flowing for sure. We definitely need some more olive oil production though. All right, so we can get this, and then that can connect to one of these, and that will give us um, a good spot with which to attack from. So let's get some more mercenary camps, and we can get you too. Probably need more archery ranges to be honest. Yeah, let's get a couple more archery ranges too. All right, so those relics have been dropped off. China is all up in our stuff, not looking terribly friendly. Um, we're gonna run out of resources here pretty soon, so we're gonna hustle you guys there. And I have no idea what you guys are doing. I guess they're jumping here for now. Okay. And yeah, we need to get a better olive economy. Yeah, it's not it's not amazing. All right, so turn in, come down here. Uh, let's chop these trees out so we can expand around the olives here. Definitely, China is more of a threat than um, yeah. Who's it? Serona. Okay. So he's gonna be hitting. Oh, he's still age two, so he must be doing something really really greedy. All right, let's get a cannon, an olive cannon. So I like to call them, and uh, we need to make sure that's within Cistern influence eventually, so I'll we'll probably just set one up back here. Yeah, can we get one? Yeah, we can. Perfect. And do that. A little bit, you know, overcosted for sure. But we do get the three relics, and we're going to get Tithe Barns too, so let's get Tithe Barns going so we can get those goodies. Set up a gatehouse here, and set up a gatehouse here. So we got to take down the Chinese. We can destroy these Haggard Palisades soon. Um, how are we looking here? Okay, let's wall in. Yeah, he Barbican, he Barbican rushed me. I have all the justification for war, right? All the justification for war. And veterancy, I would like to get this one fully upgraded. So what can we sell? We can sell some food, do a little bit of that, and get the veterancy. That'll immediately upgrade like all those units to elite. And then we'll get camel support too, which is going to be really good. All right, so we need to get a crew out to the middle. We have a lot on wood right now, which isn't bad. Um, we can rally you guys here. Our eco's 109. Let's take you guys to the middle and go jump on a gold node if we can. So we're going to go get this. And uh, we're also going to take a handful of villagers. Have them join up. Okay, so we got a cannon. We got artillery. He's still in H2, so we're going to go kill him now. Yeah, as much as I feel like a villain, uh, you know, he's he's got me crowded in. I, I literally can't escape. I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a glass case of emotion. All right, so let's get the food gathering maxed out. Those guys are running through his base. Let's get some Brangy and Chads and hand cannoneers. Then we can start spamming out some rams if we want to. Uh, but let's head up to the middle here. Am I like walled in some in some weird way here? It's very strange. All right, so the war is on. Um, let's go ahead and delete this fence so my guys can run through a little bit easier. We got the olive cannon. Uh, can we make another olive piece? Yeah, we can make an S of bees. Let's move into the base. Get the villagers here and start start doing our thing. We could even set up a tower here if we want to. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, while you're here, why the hell not? All right, let's move in, move in. Let's get the olive cannon up. What if it just like launched olive oil at them, dude? That'd be crazy. He says, oh no, the Dark Lord. Not that much of a Dark Lord, come on now. All right, so we got this. Let's shoot the uh, big bombards in there. He's got a big Zhu army, but we, have, we literally have a hard counter. We have javelin throwers. That's pretty unfortunate for him. Javelin throwers literally counter his entire army and they look like they're still feudal, so do that um as far as the middle goes we're okay let's do that and slap down a keep here in a second if we can uh and yeah that 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 army is definitely having a bad time yeah they're gonna get they're gonna get cleaned out here all right so let's keep moving up we got the tower uh let's do a cannon tower here and then we can go do a tower there one is gonna be enough all right and let's start spamming some ramps let's get some greek fire baby let's bathe them in the good old the good old times all right so tower and tower Let's do that. Soon we gotta expand our Olive Empire. All right, so we'll go ahead and set up another tower here. And yeah, we appear to have steamrolled through here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good for us. We'll expand our Olive um, Farming Empire soon. So let's go here and do this, uh, this. Yeah, looks good. Boom, 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 boom. 
No. See, they're, they're looking slightly better now, right? It's looking a little bit better. U13, um, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, that's why he walled this in. That's that's what that's what that's what did it, guys. This is this is the, the justification for the violence. Alright, I should be going after his farms. I'm being kinda lazy just because the battle was decisive, so we'll get you guys going and go set up another tower here in his base. And um, yeah, now we just start going after the farm eco. He's got a lot of idling right now for sure. Uh, I just climbed from the pits and I'll uh, contend for uh, he's coming for you. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's saying, he's trying to politic with Contende, I think. Not sure how, but something's going down. Thankfully, um, I think everybody's kind of doing their own villainous shit around here. We'll see if he had any relics. I hate having to build my last landmark here, but it is what it is. Right, let's get more upgrades coming out, and let's take down the village, the supply block, and we got cannons. All of his farms are idled, and um, it's looking pretty bleak for homie. We should probably follow those guys. Is he going to, like, like trundle here? Okay, hold on. Can we actually, like, speed do this? No, it's not going to work. Okay. Yeah, he's going to try and build a landmark somewhere else. Um, let's go ahead and get this. Okay. Hills has left the match. Oh, Hills is dead. Okay. So people are definitely paying the troll toll here. Um, yeah, and we... I don't know where these guys are going. Oh, he's got, like, another base over there. Okay, let's go track that down. Okay, so one neighbor has been dealt with. We've secured a decent amount of resources on the middle. Uh, let's set up a tower there, just to be safe. And uh, have these guys purged through? They have. So we got through his walls. All right, so just keep torching everything. Uh, most likely has hidden landmarks, considering he's playing China. We'll get to the bottom of it. Our eco is a little bit high right now, so let's go ahead and start on that. We can get this, and then five, and do that. All right, so siege, banded rams, looking good. We found all his eco here. Okay, so he does have a landmark hidden in the middle. So I think that's his original TC. Yeah, so let's get up there. We can just continue the demolition. And um, yeah, those villagers are going to be running. Let's start javelining this down. And where do we want to go? Yeah, we want to get stone. Because we want to wander, obviously. The HRE is going to be next. If we, uh, if we you know, have our way here. So let's get the unis. And we can set them up back here by the dialectus. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the spot. Right, so, oh, these are like literally all range units. It's pretty funny. Okay. So, creeping, we got our towers, and um, does he have a market? I probably already destroyed it in my blind fury. <laughs> you guys know how it is. All right, so we destroyed that landmark, and um, let's go over here and head over to his last one. I'm pretty sure this is his last landmark. He might have enough to build another one, I'm not sure. Um, so we can do something really funny. Ready for this? Just to make sure they can't weasel into our lands. And uh, all right, so we've taken control of this. He does have a gold up there, so I'm gonna go grab that, why not? And now we just, like, we smash and grab resources on the map. Wondering would just be, like, legit right here. It would just be, like, in the back. Um, it would be tricky, though. We need to kill Orange before we try anything. Okay, he already fled through. Yeah, he was watching. All right, so heading over here. Somebody just got Imperial Age. And the Olive Garden uh, Byzantium is enduring so far. Okay, so where are we looking? Yeah, I think we've got most of the upgrades. Let's go ahead and get Army Tactics, uh, Gunpowder, yeah, and Siege Equipment, and all that. Okay. Very, very gold intensive for sure. Very, very gold intensive. Two, and then three and four. And let's get you like this. And we can continue getting the Olive Gardens going. That might be the end of Serona, I'm not sure. Nope, looks like he's got another landmark hidden somewhere. So we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it, we'll figure it out. What you can do with Byzantines is just like spam build houses everywhere and it just gives you a shit ton of vision because of the, uh, the, the tech that you have. Yeah, so we'll do that here. Do this, this, and this. Ah, there it is. Okay, I missed it. It was in the base all along. We'll still build those houses out. So, trying to get the kill here. Let's grab the stone. We do have that trading post here. Mm, I could do trade over this direction. That would actually be pretty good. Um, we'll see how far we can lumberjack. A wonder up in this mountain range would be funny, but then they'll just kill my base. Because I didn't manage to get, like... I didn't have that like set up quick enough, right? So here's Yellow, um, the the last samurai, as we refer to him, the Shinobi Lord. All right, let's get all the upgrades. I'm probably going to want to get some horsemen at some point or other. So let's grab you guys, and they can come here, and we can set up a bunch of stables in the back. Although that's like where the wonder would be. Yeah, so let's actually chill out on that for now. And we can go, and I believe we have another cistern over here somewhere, so we can set one up like right here. And connect that, and then that should give us what we're looking for. All right, we're being attacked by somebody. Yeah, it looks like it's one of the Japanese, one of the Japanese homies there. And so we'll get that, and then we'll set up a bunch of stables. I, I have like a really bad habit of not using horsemen units, even though they're really good, especially for wonder defenses. So, yep, we're not going to make that mistake today. So we need to get Lima tonight. Brangians upgraded. Brangians are certainly not terrible. Our housing network has given us some good intel. Uh, I really want to kill Holy Romans, but Yellow is certainly there with a good army. Yeah, but it looks like it's... Yeah, it's an Imperial Army. Is he dead yet? 
How's this Chinese player hanging in there? He's, he's probably repairing landmarks, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, we gotta finish him off. We can't have any, like, troll threats around, right? So let's set up houses, 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 houses. Somebody might be trading here. So we should probably go troll this trading post a little bit, get some towers near it. And, um, yeah, keep looking around. I suspect he repaired a landmark. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know where he went. It's just all funny business. Free fire, just get all the upgrades, be, you know, just really obnoxious about it. And, uh, yep. Get the teardrop shield, should have gotten that sooner. And it looks like Intende is out looking, uh, for a little bit of fun. Maybe up here he's got one? Damn, China's so annoying in FFA. <laughs> it's, like, so hard to finish off. Looks like he's coming down, but he's just gonna find a ruined empire. Okay, can you build these, please? And then this, he might be up there. Okay, so that's been done. Um, we got some dudes coming here. Definitely neutral trade would be probably best from up in this hilltop, if possible. Uh, Contende is coming to do God knows what. Uh, I don't know. HRE in the corner behind me is definitely a threat, but I don't think they got that many relics. I saw them get one. Yeah, maybe. Wayne, can I have safe harbor, says Serona? <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's good. All right, so let's gather up our armies here, I guess. And... Uh, yeah, he's found a home. Let's get archers, uh, crossbows. We might need them at some point. Horsemen. Get all the cataphract upgrades and stuff for a small fee of 50 houses. Wow. Oh, Wang is Mongols. Yeah, so he can just, like, destroy those houses. All right. So, yeah. We probably just go after the Japanese now. I don't want to use forward supply lines. Um, I definitely don't. Okay, let's lumberjack. Our lumber economy is not amazing. My craftsmen are at your command. I like that. That's fun. That's some, that's some fun stuff here. Okay, so we need to gather our full army and get some Brangians and let's get some grenade mercs and all the boys going. Let's get you guys on this and this and you guys can lose formation and let's get our olive cannon to start blasting that. And you guys can go after that too. All right, so we've gotten all of his artillery just about. Um, I don't know how good his army is here, but we'll definitely probably be able to out muscle him. Yeah, with the Lehman Tanai and some of those other tools that we get. All right, so stables are coming up at the cistern. Um, and yeah, we are getting some decent map control. He's got Ozutsu too. Yeah, looks like we won that fight. Should have gone spe uh, shoot, spear wall there, but yeah, it's okay. All right, let's shoot into the bows. You guys come this way. And yeah, we should have a lot of reinforcements pouring out here. Um, definitely need to seal those walls. Big vulnerability there. And trade, uh, did we get the trade post locked down? We did. So let's get a cannon here and a cannon here. I think two is going to be enough, and then we can just, like, gather that stone wherever is possible. All right, let's get you. And, uh, yeah, we have defeated Yellow's army. So let's test his might. Let's see how his macro is. And we'll push up. So, yeah. Cataphracts, we may want to get them at some point, just to get, like, a scary critical mass kind of army. I don't really know if it's worth, but, yeah, we'll move into the Japanese base and try and kill him. Not going to be easy. We don't have good supply lines, but we might be able to do it without the, um, without the supply lines here. China's here. Um, let's get that tower there to shut them down. We got these on the trade post, and I think we probably try and take the northern territories here. Japan's going to be a hard one to crack, though, for sure. Certainly won't be easy. Um, how's our lumber looking? Okay, so he's done that. Just build some more houses around the neighborhood just to get vision and see what's going on. Um, we do see the Chinese escaping with a lot of villagers. So we're going to head up north and start uh, Greek firing homeboy here. Okay. Cannon tower should be popping off. We're probably getting mangonelled. Oh, it's only a bombard cannon. All right. So, yeah, let's just fight here and uh, keep the olive armies coming. Yes, yes. Outstanding. So that has been cleared. And now we move into his base. So we're coming for blood. All right. This should be hopefully another uh, another neighbor falls. Let's grab you guys. Do this. And we can come over here and start walling off this portion of the empire. Yeah, I, we might be, like, right to the heart of his base, actually, which would be awesome. This is where having Ghulams could be really cool, because Ghulams would um, be able to build forward siege equipment. Uh, let's get some Chatterfracks, just because they're so incredibly cool-looking. And let's get on that. Uh, go loose formation here. Uh, shut that down before he can use it. Get on this, on the TC, and shield wall. And cool. So we're up in the base. Damage is going well. Um, we can also spam out horsemen, because they're just cheap as hell. And let's hit you. All right, so nobody's trading in the middle. We have that, that trade post shut down there. Let's get on this, get on that, and move you guys up here. Outstanding. We don't have any olive cannons at the moment, so let's get another um, olive cannon on the way. So he's repairing the TC pretty heavily. A few Brangians and grenades shut this down. And I think we should, should be able to get it. I don't know if the Greek fire like hits any of these bills. Let's go ahead and target a bunch of those. All right, so you guys come up here. Now, what were we doing? We were going to wall this. That's right. So let's just like start walling like so and like so and uh, take control of this land. I think we got this one here. I think he's going to be in some trouble. We do have 3,000 stone, too, that we're getting in our clutches, which is great. Um, Muffin Man is gone, and Hills is gone. So two people have fallen. 
And I think our Japanese Emperor here, the Lord of the Shogunate, is in trouble. Let's uh, just target this keep down here. Uh, looking good. We got reinforcements coming. And now we're going to try and secure this old land with trade. Yeah, we need to get, like, cross... Not cross... Yeah, I mean, this is the best trade we could get would be up there, actually. That would be that would be pretty money. Okay, he's amassing an army. It's mostly spears. Homeboy must be, like, starved. He must be, uh, you know, not feeling super good. Rangians, let's get the speed. Here he comes to defend. And now we just kind of keep mowing down the houses. So let's get houses, 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 and then just get the racks. And you guys keep poking here, keep poking here. And the Chattafracts have arrived. All right, so let's get the walls started. Those ones are secure. So that should be a nice little northern border. Need to get a gatehouse first so we can muster in reinforcements. Do this. And yeah, the Greek fire ramps are doing great. We can also construct more of them. Did I get siege engineering or did I not? No, I forgot. That's okay. We can get it like super quickly. Uh, yep. And we can get rally soon too. Our gold is actually not amazing. We're going through it really quickly. Um, all right, let's pull that back. Siege engineering will be done in like a couple seconds. It's pretty crazy, the research rate with the Byzantines. It's uh, wild indeed. All right, so is he alive? Is the HRE player still chilling there? I don't know. I don't know if he is. All right, so Greek fire, Greek fire, and let's get you guys making some rams so we can keep pushing and ending this. And now we just get the Chattafracts to keep moving. Orange grabbing a lot. And we see the Chinese um, yeah, Chinese main base over here. Wow, holy shit. Yeah, we, we definitely want to take that out at some point because he'll probably have a blood feud towards me. So we can't like let that stand, right? Yeah, we, we simply can. All right, so let's get more rams and uh, we can get some uh, more rams coming. Yes, perfect. Let's make more, make more, and make more of these. Just try and bathe his entire base in Greek fire. Okay, looking good. So we're moving through. The demolition continues. And uh, now let's go ahead and secure some of this. And we can also secure this land here. Looking good. And uh, the last thing we can do is right now. So that's going to get it. And um, yeah, the base is getting cooked. Uh, I think he's in trouble. That is not my workers. As far as our, our bank goes, we're doing pretty good. All right, let's move up to the north. The olive oil will rain once more. You guys just wait. All right, so update this. Our, our food eco is not as good as I would like, so I would like to get more. So let's do this and uh, set up some more. Okay. Yeah, olive oil is like, is so good. It's so good. It's what makes the Byzantines viable in FFA. Because even if I have no gold, my armies will still be feasible because I can make like grenades. Oh, hey, look at that. Sweet Christmas. You got a relic too. Nice. All right, so let's get a religious character. Do we have any? Grab them up here and have them run up this way. We take down his landmarks and, uh, and give him the biz. I think we've almost got everything down. Yeah, the Greek fire is continuing. Let's get you on the Shogunate castle. And we need to keep producing. Got a little bit lazy there, figuring it was kind of over. But no, he's, you can never count the Lord of Shinobis. You know, he can come back and, uh, you know, give you the dirty. All right, so trade over here would be good. Rams are coming up from the base. Yeah, that is going to go down. Tanagashima Gunsmith is going to pay the price. Let's get you guys in there. And somewhere mid would be sufficient. So they're talking about some sort of trade agreements or something. I'm not sure. Maybe. Um, we still have him in the corner. So I think we take him out and then like attempt to wonder is basically how that would go down. Shogunate Castle is almost down. Flamethrowers all over the place. Um, landmarks, let's take inventory. So we have this, this, this. And probably Korra or the Shinobi landmark is somewhere nearby. Raiden uh, is taking a prize. That's Ottomans. Ottomans are definitely one of the biggest threats. I don't know how good he is, like his experience level, but yeah, that's still very scary. All right, so the Japanese base has fallen. The uh, preacher should be here soon to grab the relics. Where are the religious dudes? Come on, where are you homies at? There they are. All right, so they're here somewhere. All right, let's get this. Take it back to the old base and uh, do that. Contende is down for the count. Did he concede out? He did. Okay. So that's good. Um, now we can grab you guys. The wall off continues. This is a bit janky here. We don't have like a proper wall, but let's do that. Serona seems like a great person. Just good attitude, even in the face of adversity. Not complaining, just playing like a champ. And uh, all right. So let's go here and here. And that should secure us our little our little nest egg here. Um, the best angle for it would be, I don't know what. Okay, looks like that thing's still trying to attack us. Definitely go steamroll the Chinese out of the middle now. Um, let's see what that trade route looks like. I believe we still have some wall makers over here. Yeah, we have you guys too. So let's get some uh, gatehouses and gatehouses and then come over here and build a market, which is how far back can we go? Like right there. And yeah, then we cackle all the way to the bank. Okay, so he has fallen. Um, you guys have purged those resources. So let's go purge these. Although we should probably move up here and just start like grabbing like everything we possibly can. 
Yeah, in preparation for the long haul, uh, Relic's going to be on its way back. This Relic can go into the Olive Branch. Um, yeah, we can just slap it in the Olive for a little bit of extra Olive Oil, which doesn't hurt. And our Eco is 110, which is pretty big, but not nothing too crazy. Let's set up a tower here to try and control this. And now we need to go take down the HRE. So we're just going to line up on the borders here. Switch directions. Um, you guys can go build the gatehouse here, the precursor to the invasion. And then we got to prepare a wonder. So Raiden's playing Ottomans, yeah. Who, there's no, is there any French in this game? There's not. Wang is probably going to be pretty rich. I, I imagine he's free trading somewhere. Yeah, these guys are coming back. We still have a ton of rams, which is really good. The gatehouses have been built, so now we can be a little bit more dynamic in our movement patterns. And man, our, um, our wood economy, though, is not great. <laughs> Those sheep just relax over there. Yeah, I guess like grabbing all the gold is more important, right? Because gold is just such an important resource. All right, so we'll get that gatehouse in afterwards. Somebody keeps capturing that sacred site. I don't know who they're fighting. Um, probably fighting going to collapse. Yeah, I've secured most of my territories here. And let's go ahead and set up houses all over the place here. So we can see everything and make sure nobody's like sneaking around or doing anything funny. The Ottoman Legion, or my, not Ottoman Legion, but my Legion's going to be gathering here. Let's go ahead and get this. Get a cannon tower to secure that. And um, we can go ahead and pop one down right here, too. I could go for... Yeah, that's... Wang is... Yeah, Wang is there, too. Hmm. All right. So how's this going? Yeah, big army coming down. Ottoman's going to uh, come and fight in the north. Hopefully they just ignore me. We have the Exodus villagers. They're fleeing the scene. Are we going to have a villager fight? Maybe. All right, let's go get that done. And prepare. We got to clear out our neighbors. And if this guy got some relics too, then that's going to be pretty nice, right? All right. So we'll get some trade going. Um, let's get a couple markets here. Yes, yes. And uh, the old Byzantine Empire is looking pretty cozy right now. Looking pretty cozy. All right. We'll get another one of those. Set up a mine here. And uh, yeah, we got random cannon towers. But the Ottomans are coming out with a, what appears to be a good Janissary base force. All right. Any upgrades I want to get? Okay. We've encountered the wall. Um, do I have enough archery ranges is the question. Red is coming for breaking... Red is coming for breaking the peace, he says. Okay, so some, some, some sort of forbidden code. Yeah, I mean, Red can move out. I, I, I'm happy to just grab what I can and leave. Yeah, he's, he's just going for resources. You know, totally normal. All right, so what am I at right now? 110 economy. It's a pretty good balance, I would say. Um, markets, we'll see what the trade is. It's probably going to be like 50 or something. We're lucky. Let's grab you guys. Um, probably need more of you guys to um, pump out more mercs. Okay. Where are those houses? Which houses is he talking about? Which ones? Okay, Ottomans coming down with their great bombards. Now we're gonna. Oh my god. Oh my god. You see how quick I destroyed those walls? What? Did he delete those or something? I don't know how good. HRE armies are decent. I mean, they're. I think Byzantines have a way better Imperial Age than them because of the Mercs, but. Yeah, and also the camel support. I need to make some more camels. I can't, can't get too relaxed on those. I can cannoneers, uh, horsemen, and uh, Lehman Tanai. Payment for not killing Teal. <laughs> Teal's not paying up. All right. So let's get in here and party. And here comes the defenders. The launch necks are there. So let's get the olive cannon to start popping these. And we need to get a bunch of you guys to rush through and target all this. And uh, yeah, we just start sending in waves and waves and waves. And we can also make some uh, bombards of our own. A couple of horsemen have been able to chase them down. And that's one. And hopefully another one here. And the Greek fire rams can just pour into his lands. Yeah, he looks like he's not terribly rich. Um, so I think that should be a pretty good little victory for us. Yeah, we haven't lost anything yet, really. Have we? we lost a couple units, actually. Yeah, a lot of our front lines has faltered. Let's make archers, just save resources. The Greek fire is bathing his empire. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know if he's ready for that. Yeah, he's still got a big HRE army uh, of uh, the classic uh, troopers. But, yeah, this is like a lot of damage going down. He's losing a lot of infrastructure to those Greek fire rooms. Shatterfracks would actually be adequate. We could do a little bit of micro here. Let's move our olive cannon back. And um, do we want to make any more olive artillery? Yeah, let's just make some more olive cannons. Save some gold, why not? It's so nice, isn't it? <laughs> Look at this guy, dude. He's just like jacking everything. I love this Chinese player, Serona. He's so funny. All right, how are the Rams doing? Let's pull him back, and um, we can just <clears throat> switch into more uh, Greek fire Rams. Okay, let's see what kind of trade we're getting here. There should be some traders running across now. There should be something. Let's see what they're getting. Are they even here? Yeah, oh well. <clears throat> All right, keep it up, and we just get the hand cannoneers and grenade mercs. Should be pretty brutal against this HRE army. And looking on the other side, holy shit. <laughs> 
Wang claiming his prize. <laughs> Look at Wang, dude. Oh my god. Wang, Wang just moved in and just started butchering his, his colonists. Oh my god, that's so funny. Holy shit. Uh, okay. So trade is 41 a pop. Okay, that's actually respectable. That's, that's not bad. We have like direct walls for them to get there. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it ain't bad. We'll try and get better trades soon. If we can establish something in this base, that's just going to be God tier, right? He's holding well, but, you know, our army is just such superior quality that I think it's just going to mow him down. We'll make some Chatterfracks just because they're so badass, and that'll give us some momentum to uh, probably clear him out. We'll mass Lehman and I, and um, the Chatterfrack should arrive soon. All right, I could be kind of lazy here. Let's get our Bombard Cannon up to start shooting at the landmarks, and um, in the middle, yeah, lost a lot of bills. All good, doesn't matter. Um, my eco is a little bit too fat anyway, so now we need to readjust and uh, get this and get on lumber. Yeah, start reallocating our eco here, getting more trade as well. We should be okay. All right, so the Olive Garden Legion is doing it. Um, the town center is almost down. Homeboy is spamming out a lot, but I think eventually the momentum of the unit quality is going to get him. Well, maybe not. Maybe he's going to hold. Grenades are doing good work, it looks like. Yeah, we need more hand cannoneers just to counter those guys. Let's bring you guys down for a keep, actually. And um, yes, that should be set. Look at, look at them. It's a revenge. I've been pushed out of the middle. My, my, my golden days are over. It's like the emergency repairs are trying to come in. Yeah, they're running out of steam. The army quality difference is just too much, I think. All right, let's get you, and we need to get you ASAP and go loose formation. Let's do this. Get the Chatterfracks to trample over. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's go. Let's get that. And we get you, you too. Yeah, the camels are giving infantry support, so it's so good. Oh, my God. All my troops are getting, like, armor bonuses and just nastiness. We got bombards coming in from every direction. Bombards. Let's do that. You guys go back here and get that. He's, he's fighting very well, but, like, this is, like, HRE just has, like, really mediocre late-game armies. I feel. Um, yeah, I don't know if you like the trample. Uh, GG. All right, so we've killed a handful. Wondering is still probably... Mm, I don't know. It's, it's potentially possible. Okay, he looks like he tapped out. Did he? He did. Okay, so we don't need to waste a lot of money on the keep here. So what we need to do is secure the borders here. So let's secure this and um, do this also. Yep. Looks good. And let's see if he's got a market. So let's pull back. Get our armies up this way. Um, come here, clear these walls, and clear these walls so I can make them for myself. And now we can get the Chatterfracks and go scouting for any trade. If he's got a dock even, we can trade with that. Right, that's gonna be money. Okay, so we had his own little wall there, which is fine. We can do this and this. And Chatterfracks are gonna go looking. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, yes. Give it to me, Precious. That is the shit. All right, so let's get you guys. Uh, we can get you guys down on Lumber for now because we need a big Lumber Bank to potentially wander. And the walls are on the way. Okay, unfortunately, berry bushes are, uh, you know, blocking the path, but should be fine. Greek Fire Rams we're not going to need for the defense, so we'll delete those. And now it's like, okay, so we got Serona, Raiden, and Wang. If I get a good bank here soon, we can definitely, definitely wonder... So let's move across. That is generating, what, 189? So it could be a little bit better. So let's get a worker that we have laying around somewhere. Do we have anybody not doing anything? All right, let's grab you. And head up here. And we can set up like trade at the foremost point there. And that's going to be really good. We managed to get some wall offs here. Yeah, for the most part, it looks like it's going to be impassable. <laughs> the, the berry bush. We'll have to see if you can squeeze past that or not. And it looks like this is going to be hard to seal because of that. So we'll do that. Okay, you guys just go hang out. We can we can chill out a little bit right now. Let's get the Chatterfracks to come uh, clear out some space here. So they'll go help with that. And the market of the gods is now in full effect. So we'll get this. We have villagers running up there. And currently our military is relatively big. We can delete the Lima tonight just to free up, free up some supply here and get that eco going. We need to boom again. All right, so... You guys can go to retirement. We're going to go off screen so you don't see. That's not actually what happened. They just go retire in their olive vineyards and, you know, they get treated with the proper respect they deserve. All right, Chatterfrax is secure and secure. Um, we don't have that much stone. There is a little bit of stone to grab there. Um, I should probably start buying it. Okay, we need to get you. Let's get new markets and control group six. Let's just buy up to the amount of stone that we need. Okay, great. So that's been bought up. And um, now we can secure that. Good. These guys are clearing. So let's keep them doing that. Um, I believe this whole southern peninsula is pretty safe now. Um, we can also get another layer of walls here. So we can start doing some insanity walls because that's probably where Wang would come from. And then I would only have to defend like this one choke, which I think should be pretty doable. Um, so from here, let's start massing out Nesta Bees with our Olive Cannon. 
or our Olive Garden, um, and just get like a really elite quality army. All right, so they've done it. So now what we can do is we can start doing this, this, and this, and do a little bit of this. A little bit of insanity walling to protect our trade, make it very obnoxious to deal with, right? Okay, this, and we need the cataphracts to clear this out, this, this, this. Okay, how are we looking here in the middle? It's not like super fortified or anything, but certainly could be worse. Okay, let's get that, and um, you guys are clearing. Now, where would they come from? It'd probably be like these regions, so we can get some towers. Yeah, in Sacred Site, we would probably entrench here. This is like where we start the entrenchment, and we can get like all those like cannons, because they're this is like, they can't really come through the mountain pass, I don't think. Maybe they can. Um, I, I need to go explore that. I don't want to get, you know, Ephialtied here. All right, so let's move up there. Move into the mountains and see what the pathing looks like up there. Set up a tower. Um, sacred site. Okay, they're fighting. That's really good. Sorona is attacking with maybe the Mongols. I'm not sure. China's still kind of hanging in there, which is very impressive. Chatterfax will take this down. And then we can go ahead and do some walls like so. Good, good. And start on that. Let's get the trade. And did the market ever finish? It did. So let's reroute you traders there. That's going to be an even better trade route. It's going to be 104, which is pretty god tier. And um, we can delete a lot of army and just ac accumulate wealth. Now, what do we want to delete? Probably javelin throwers, archers, camel riders are all pretty replaceable. And uh, cool. So you guys are up here. Um, we can set up a little tower here. And then we can try and weasel your way out. Chatterfax are tearing down the buildings, which is great. We got the big trade. It's getting us olive oil. It's getting us money. But our bank is nowhere near close enough to wonder territory. I think after a couple more minutes it would be, but for now it's not, right? So right, let's set that up, and we want to get a cistern here so we can get better uh, gather rate. That would be nice. Let's run it through the vineyards. Looking good. And you can come and grab the stone, and then we can go here and try and grab that other stone. Yeah, Serona's been, like, all over the place, just kind of trapped in the realm. And Chatterfrax can keep clearing these out to make room. So you, 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 you. I just want to make <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. So let's get over here and set that up. And uh, then we can do a little bit of this. I got to check for relics, too. I, I never actually checked to see if you had any relics laying around. So, yeah, that was that was very sloppy of me. So I, I bet you they're hidden in the back. And then we need to get our religious characters and send them down there. Yeah. He's got to have some relics. He's HRE. Unless he really got... I, I know. I saw him take one relic for me, at least. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's only two, though. I don't know if it's still bugged. It might still be bugged to the point where, you know, it doesn't uh, drop the goodies. Yeah, I really hope it's not. All right. One, two, and three. And then one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Just got to be as annoying as possible. There we go. All right. So it's, it's all coming together, guys. It's all coming together. So taking that down, our gold is uh, pretty good. We're at 123 eco. I really do feel like I should probably just delete a lot of my army. With the exception of the artillery and the olive cannons and stuff. Yeah. Hand cannoneers are pretty good. Grenadiers are certainly replaceable. And uh, let's stop making villagers. Just focus mainly on traders because they are going to generate us the most money right now. Let's get a wall going there. Perfect. And um, yeah, that's a little bit of a weird path they could get through for sure. Religious characters are hustling. And let's go set up another uh, church here. We come back and we can drop these two relics off. Yeah, the monks are arriving. Okay, so we've secured a lot of our goodies. Um, is this like a weird path they can actually get through? I don't believe so. Yeah, I don't think that that is an issue. Um, so yeah, I think we're fine. Let's go here and start setting up a lot of these. Yeah, this is gonna be the spot and we can buy a little bit more stone. Let's do that, 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 and that, and that. Boom, 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 getting all those upgraded. There's still a lot of combat going on on the other side of the map and as long as I can secure that, I think we're fine. Okay, so priests, let's grab the relics. You guys keep clearing out the infrastructure here so we can keep making our insanity walls. And uh, great, so we got those. Head back to the base. You grab that Friar Chuck. And let's take him back and drop those off. And then that's going to be uh, a lot of relics, actually. A lot of relics for our conquest. All right, you attack that guy. Let's prison shank him. Can they, can they take this guy down? Okay, let's get rid of the walls here. And then you take this guy down. And then we can build the walls here afterwards okay so the insanity walls are coming together our lumber economy is getting slightly better now that we have the gather rate here should be quite strong um they're already chopping out of the the gather rate range which is pretty nuts and we're gonna have a lot of good entrenchments here on the sacred site which is obviously there to make sure we don't lose uh on sacred stone is is anybody else buying stone no it's just me okay 
So nobody else is buying stone. I don't think anybody else is looking to wonder here. All right. So yeah, this area is looking pretty pretty nasty already. So once we clear that out, but let's go up here. Could anybody come from this direction? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. All right. So we'll get you to do some walls. Walls, um, walls, and walls. And we'll just do like a bunch of like weird walls over there to make it really hard for armies to maneuver and set up forward infrastructure. Yeah, I think that's going to be the play. We need to leave like a relatively direct route though, for sure. But yeah, this would be a hardish angle to defend. And oh, we need to then get this secured. All right, good thing we're kind of like double checking everything right now, preparing for the dreaded wonder defense. But I think we should be able to do it even with just a couple here. Um, but the Ottoman Great Bombards are going to be the biggest problem. They're going to be like just an unholy nightmare, right? Okay, so let's get the trade going down this way and keep it up. Outstanding. Uh, we need to make sure all the traders are going to the furthest point and then tied up here. Okay, so now they're going to have 100. And we have our standing army, which is mainly just nasty bees and other things like that. I don't think anybody's going to want to come through that way. That's going to be really annoying for sure. When they discover the depths of insanity that is uh, coming along with that. All right, so let's get the Chatterfracks to keep clearing, 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 clearing. And that should be enough. And then we can, we can hopefully get this wall like so. Okay, let's go around. Do that. And yes, and yes. And then we can also do a little bit of this. And we can lastly set up a bunch of towers over here. So this is going to be a choke point, which could get um, could get attacked pretty heavily. We can set up this and connect it to the old wall and then build a gatehouse there. We're going to have to build a gatehouse pretty quickly. Okay, so China is back. Um, we could do a little cataphract raid over there, which would be pretty funny. I'm thinking once we get a little bit more bank, we can just slap down that wonder. So we have enough uh, stone now and enough gold. So we just need to bank resources. I'm not taking the sacred sites because I don't want to make a bunch of enemies, but I'm thinking of like creeping up on this one actually and like even setting up some towers here and do that. That could be pretty good. All right, so we got you. Is there any more stone to be grabbed? There is. So let's grab this and then move here. Is there any more gold on the map? Yes, we do have some gold, good gold up there. So let's grab you guys, turn in, head up here, and mine the rest of the gold from these forbidden lands to try and get that bank going. Currently, we're getting about a thousand a minute, which is very nice. Um, but let's finish the gatehouse first so they have a place to go through before we uh, complete that. And cool. So this area looks really annoying for anyone who wants to attack, for sure. There's like layers and layers of walls, but we don't want to obstruct our trade, obviously. All right, so you guys come down here. This could be a place we get attacked, so we're going to set up some, uh, some towers there. The Ottomans might be coming at us already. Um, maybe. Red, what's, what's up with Red? Are we going to have to delete some trade to fight this guy? You can have that area, Red, no problem. I'm trying to politic with him a little bit. I don't want him to encounter my defenses. Um, yeah, he, he's creeping. I think my politics may have worked. So he's, he's running back. I fear the mighty Otto. Okay, so our gold bank isn't so good. He says okay. Um, vulnerabilities maybe here. Maybe a little bit. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, they, they're probably still all going to come through there. Enemy captured sacred sites. As long as I have one sacred site in my clutches, then I'm more than happy to just like throw the wonder Hail Mary, right? So let's get you guys up. We got it pretty damn entrenched. Okay. We get another cannon tower. We have a keep here. It's going to be great. Um, we're also getting some tower defenses on this side. So that has been sealed. And then we can also get a, um, yeah, this is a little bit of a vulnerability here. We should probably go lumberjack somebody somewhere else. Yeah, we have like trees over there. So let's go do that. And um, you guys can go ahead and finish this. Yes, and yes. And then yes. And like so. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, just a little layers of walls. I wonder who's fighting right now. People are probably banking for wonders. I don't think I'm the only one, but our bank is nowhere near good enough to slap down the wonder yet. Like our army's good, but we need more olive oil. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yes. This is this is like the dream. So now we can do a little bit of casting. All right, guys. The Ottoman army's moving in. They have a lot of damage. No, I'm just uh, it's, it's going good though. They're gonna they're gonna melt these guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Just just punish the weak Chinese. I literally have the entire bottom of the map. Just cross map trade. Oh shit. Okay. No, no. Run past that. We don't want to like uh, give the alarm bell that we're going for that. Okay, so they're fine. Okay, Autumn. Shit, did I just alert them to the sacred site? Oh god, I think I might have. They're coming this way. He might want all three sacred sites. Um, we're gathering a bit of stone. The wonder, yeah, the lumber economy is not good enough yet. It's simply not. I don't know if he's gonna come for me. I might be able to beat him. We might be able to. Let's like take the fight out here. 
Um, our eco is 135 right now, which is way too much. Let's get you guys on here. Is he going to attack me? He might. He's he's looking a little bit, like, ornery. I have Chatterfracts, which will get wrecked by Janissaries, unfortunately. Okay, he's chilling out of the middle. Maybe he thought I was doing Sacred. Um, the trade route does not look super optimal. The way they're coming. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, open space here that people could just kind of, like, abuse. Yeah, like, all this, like, land here is very, like, very uh, you know, pitiful. Yeah, this is where it would go, and we would just, like, put some walls around it, if even. A lot of horsemen could maybe find their way in. They can't get through this way, I don't think. Yeah, it looks like there's rocks. So it's literally just going to be a headlong invasion here, and somebody might try and come down here, too. Somebody might. All right, so let's do that, do that, and you guys set these walls up, get these towers up, and just get a bunch of static defenses here. Okay. And um, we're the one hour mark, so pretty quick by FFA standards. We got 15,000 gold, which is good. I think around 20k gold, we'll be happy to pull it off. And then when we can get the wood, uh, you know, fully fully geared out too, that that obviously be pretty prime time. Is there any better places? Uh, down in this corner could be cute for sure, but no, because uh, then they just kill my main baseline marks. Up here would be really funny, like in this like little weird choke, but then they could just come straight across. I think legit, this is like the best area back here. So delete this, start making some room. Yeah, all right. And then, yeah, that's kind of in the way a little bit, but should be fine. Could always relocate that. We see the Ottoman army out there. The cross map trade is banking. And I bet you the autos are, are maybe planning a wonder too. So I need to pull the trigger soon. But 11,000 wood is not that much. It's really not. I need I need way more than that. Olive oil is flowing. Um, currently we have six mercenary shacks. Okay, so let's get a couple more of those. And um, we can go ahead and delete a lot of these houses here. So let's delete these. And uh, yeah, that's still, we're still over the amount that is necessary. So mercenary shacks. And um, let's go ahead and get some towers. You never know if attack's gonna be coming. Uh-oh, what the hell is this? Okay, I don't like that. He's gonna go discover my trade. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, how did he get through there, by the way? Yeah, there's clearly some sort of an opening. Yeah, let's get you guys here, and we need to seal this breach. Yeah, so he got through somehow. A little bit of funniness. If he calls me out, I might just need to slap down the wonder, like, right away. Not sure where he's going. Maybe he's looking for gold. I think he is. Yeah, but we're, uh, we have our cataphracts already hunting. And see, this is good. It's like it's like uh, testing the defensive measures, right? Yeah, it's, it's like safety checks. Okay, so, yeah, we get you guys. Let's do this and this in case somebody attacks here. We'll get some of the Manganel Towers. That's just all from Tithe Barns, like, straight up. Okay, so, yeah, we should be able to butcher them. Uh, do we have all the uni upgrades? We do. And you guys have finished that off. So as far as resources that are still left on the map, and uh, we're going to trample them. Ready for this? I don't know if it's stacks, but... Cataphracts will butcher them. Can't have that. Nope. We got to take that down. I, I'm lucky he's not announcing my trade to the world. That's like one thing that's very fortunate for me here. Okay, so where did all our woodworkers go? I think we just accidentally pulled them. Yeah, they're, they're all doing things. All right, so 14 on gold, um, probably gonna be enough. So we need to get you guys back and have you lumberjack because we need the wood. He might come after us for that, for that slight. Thankfully, he's not calling out my trade, which I'm very, very grateful for. Okay, and let's get some cannon towers here. We need to officially finish these walls, and then we can get you to seal this wall here. Yes, and um, we, we have some, like, you know, tertiary defenses there. Yeah, nothing too crazy. All right, I think it's about time to pull the trigger. My food bank's pretty good. I don't want to risk, you know, getting wrecked here. The Ottomans, unfortunately, out front are very jacked, but that's this is good. The fact that the Kashyyyks are just torching the Chinese player stuff is hilarious. So let's pull and get ready to party. Yeah, we will pull and get ready for the goodness. Okay. So it's coming online here. I think 47 should be enough unless the Ottomans are straight up ready to get us. Um, that's good. And now let's go ahead and set that up. So we just need a little bit of stone. A little bit more stone. Okay. And you guys set up the great palace here. I think that should be wallable if we delete a couple of buildings. Yeah, so we're going to pop that down and uh, go for the Wonder Victory. Looking great. You guys do that and then jump on that. Outstanding. Any more resources down here? Yep, a little bit of gold left in the mountains. Let's go take that. And wow, okay. Wonder Race here. Uh, so I have 47. He's got 21. And, oh man, I should have pulled more workers. He might actually beat me. All right, let's pull you guys down and see if we can, like, augment this. He's behind. Yeah, look, he was just waiting. It was a Wonder Race. All right, Bills. Okay, is he going to get it? So he's at uh, 2.7, and uh, I, I don't think he's going to get it. I think we're fine. All right, let's grab the Sacred Site, too. And, um, yeah, we got this. Oh! 
Yes, yes, Anakin. Good, good. All right, let's get a handful of you guys. Head back to the wood. Oh, that worked out well. Okay, so we'll keep the trade going as long as we possibly can. Uh, we need to get ready to fight the Ottoman armies. So, yes, let's go ahead and get the Nesta Bees behind the walls here. And the rest of you guys can get ready to party. And the Nesta Bees need to shoot to the Janissary blobs, so let's do that. And let's start getting archers and hand cannoneers, and we need to get all of cannons also. Okay, Nesta Bees doing great. Holy shit, we just melted that army. Oh, big business, baby. All right, let's get you guys to keep blasting. Pull back. Oh, the Nesta Bees behind the walls are just so good and tasty. All right, let's move these cannons out, actually, and then snipe his great bombards. Um, as far as this goes, yeah, we can hit you guys on there for now. We got the Olive Cannons doing good work, and we did manage to flatten a lot of his army there. The Nesta Bees, so good. All right, let's get some more Nesta Bees coming out. We don't know where the attacks are going to come from after this, but the fact that we just cleaved that Ottoman army and also beat them in the um, in the Wonder Race is just so clutch. Purple, I'll hit from the south. <laughs> I hope he's excited for what's to come over here. It's pretty, it's pretty bonkers. Okay, pretty bonkers. So the Ottomans are coming. We have the good static defenses. We just need to hold here for a bit. Um, attacking from here would be the strongest, but I don't think they know that. It's, it's like, the angling of that's just weird. Alright, so we're coming out with Bombards. Um, we got Nesta Bees galore. Aha! Face the Chinese firepower! <laughs> Traders will keep for as long as possible. Um, you guys, yeah, we definitely want to hoard wood too. Yeah, because that's going to go quickly. If he can, like, if they, there's some, like, weird spot I didn't notice they can attack from, I'm going to be so sad. Here, yeah, there's no way through. They can, yeah, no, it's just, it's just literally all that. So, yeah, now we got the rams coming from Wang. Perfect. And let's go ahead and make some uh, static defenses here. These guys are, for some reason, bugged out. Now, let's just delete them. Okay, and um, we can go ahead and delete the traders now. We have 33 traders. 14,000 gold is probably enough. Let's pull them back and kind of decide how we want to approach this. But, yeah, he's coming, but it's going to be a uh, it's gonna be a long journey there. I just need to chill out at the sacred site long enough. For, the, uh, for that to work. And then I'll delete all my traders and get some troops over there too. So let's get some grenadiers, hand cannoneers. Um, let's go ahead and get some spring alds and some of this. Here, welcome welcome to the good times, Wang. Welcome to the good times. All right, so traders, let's go ahead and delete those. Let's delete those, yes, perfect. And we can also delete a lot of our food eco. Not all of it, we'll keep some online, but that should be an adequate enough amount. Okay, so grenadiers are on the way, hand cannoneers and all these. We're gonna see if we can fight him. He's mainly just got rams and stuff. Yeah, he's having fun here. We can pull some bills down there. And um, okay, so the traders should mostly be deleted now. We have a couple lingering around. Now our military is growing in power. Yeah, it's good. What are these, Kashiks? Okay. Kashiks can meet the Lima tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So still a little bit of olive gathering going. Um, in the front, the Chinese player is on his way, but we are we do have a standing army here, which is pretty good. So we'll, we'll be ready to meet him for sure. Uh, over here, yeah, we need to get all of you guys coming down here and down here. Do this. We need to fight on two fronts. And, um, yes, traders. Let's go ahead and delete you guys. Balance out that economy a little bit. And, uh, this is where we'll kind of meet them head on. Yeah, we do have good static defenses here, too. It's, it's pretty respectable. Let's get a couple more. Okay. So hand cannoneers and whatnot are on the way. Let's get the traders going. And now we need to go ahead and intercept this ram army. All right. So let's do that. Let's get the Nesta Bees shooting into the Chinese army and use their own technology against them. All right. So we can attack here. Uh, the army's pretty subpar, though. Yeah, it's pretty pretty weak. Let's just gather at the gates. And the Nesta Bees and company are folding that army up pretty hard. Yeah. Folding them up pretty good. I, is there any way back through there? Ooh, shit. Actually, I don't know. If that's, like, the Ephialtes go pass, then, uh, you know, that would, that would suck pretty bad. Let's just, like, be careful and all that if we can. All right, so that's looking good. We got this army gathering here to intercept them. Um, they're probably, they could talk their way through there. That would be weird, for sure. But, yeah, we got a lot of Kashyyyks coming in, so let's move back to the gatehouse until the Rams arrive, and we can fight them at the choke point. So, you guys, Grenadiers and whatnot, um, our Nest of Beasts and Artillery Doomstack is effectively steamrolled these guys. So now we just need to hold here somehow. Hand cannoneers, all of you, uh, sleep these villagers. Currently, we're pretty good on food. We are going through it somewhat quickly, but we do have some reinforcements. Um, he's got a lot coming out. It's mainly just going to be rams and stuff, so I think we can hold that. All right, so the uh, yeah, they're pushing here, but I think it's going pretty good. Olive oil is going to start running dry soon. Okay, so let's get back to the sacred site, and um, we're holding, looking good. And what do we got? Yeah. Do we want the piety upgrades? I don't know why I just got those. That was stupid. I just like instinctively sometimes in late game when I see an upgrade I haven't gotten. I'm just like, I must have. All right. 
So that wall could be resecured. So let's go ahead and do this, and uh, we can redo that wall. So let's do this and this. Although he's just coming, he's just going to come with a million rams. It's pointless to rebuild those walls. All right, we have a lot of guys on the tower here. So let's get the uh, artillery spam coming out. Good, and delete these traders. Soon we'll delete more bills, but for now we need to kind of maintain our bank. We're nine minutes in. The Ottomans will be back soon too. Okay, so yeah, dealing with a lot of damage to those rams. Let's pull back here. Uh, send some spears up that way. And yeah, we need to get these walls up maybe. Pull back to the static defenses because this is like all artillery. It could definitely get melted if we're not careful. Alright, so let's shoot that blob. Uh, over here is looking pretty good. We got our own artillery death star and we're pushing them back. Let's get you guys to take down the bombard cannons. Nice. And we get those. Good. Looking solid. Fighting on two fronts. Could be worse. Could be three. You know, the base, the layout of the base has worked out pretty damn well for us. And these damn, these static defenses are uh, certainly holding their uh, their worth in gold. All right, let's keep hunting his cannons here. Do this, gather up here. Uh, let's get more static defenses and static defenses, even an arrow slip will do. Okay, boom, 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 boom. And he's getting his uh, infrastructure set up here, which is tough. It's very scary. Ottomans are back now. Um, maybe we're gonna be able to hold here. No, we need to get these guys back. Send the siege back, pull the siege back to the keep. Uh, you guys go attack and support them. And did we get all the bombards? Not quite. Okay, so we just got to turn and fight now. All right, so you guys are here. Soon we're going to pull back. Um, the sacred thing is looking good for us. Let's turn. Uh, the Ottoman army has a couple bombards, but really shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's start massing out some nested bees with the olive cannons. And um, then we need to keep the perks flowing. All right, so it looks like we held that attack back from the Ottomans as well as those guys. Wang is definitely going to be very scary over here. He's got a lot of bombards, so let's spam out some Nesta It's not Nesta it's too big, but the, um, all right, so you and you. And, uh, get Spears coming. Love you guys. A lot of Kashyyyks are on the way, and it looks like that is going to be one bombard down for the count. Let's go Shield Wall, get you and you. And, yeah, the Spears, all sorts of goodies. Let's get the Nesta back into the choke point a little bit. And we're looking pretty okay here. Mainly just Ram Spam. Um, we got 54 on wood, so let's get a slightly bigger army. I think we're okay on wood. Um, 10,000 is a pretty good amount. So, that's definitely part of defending wonders is like evaluating you know what you need to actually get in there yeah we see the bombard cannon okay being pushed back and over here it's looking good let's make sure to stay in the static defenses okay let's buy a little bit it's looking tough and looking tough yeah just slightly upgrading those and um yeah now we can hang there How's this looking? This fight. We need Lima Tanai. We do have a decent, decent layout of defense here, and a nice like choke point for our siege. It's going to be very good. Let's go shield wall on the Lima Tanai to make them take reduced damage at range. Let's update this. And uh, looking good. All right. So how's this looking? All right. Getting a little bit scary here, for sure. This could be the end of this position. Um, we might want to yield it. I'm not sure. Yeah, we might want to yield this position and just pull back. Um, but this is like kind of like our main beachhead here, right? Yeah, we're going to move through. Ottomans are on their way. We're currently at the six minute mark. So where would we hold up? It'd be like, yeah, in the base. We got a lot of siege here. So that's looking good. Let's get spring alts and have them target this, 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 this. You guys hang tight. And now we need to start like probably orienting our defenders to the front and fight off this army. Shatterfrax, I don't know if they're worth it. Let's get archers and fight here. Um, yeah, they're coming pretty hard. Thankfully, they're just going after villagers. So let's see if we can just run them run them for a bit of a circus here. And uh, let's get those artillery pieces still fighting. Spring alts are um, targeting, targeting. Looks good. Pull back, get you guys swarming in. And now we get the bombard and get the uh, big artillery piece. And do we want to upgrade any of these? Probably doesn't feel like it's worth it. Um, our artillery cores fighting, but those rams are certainly spamming. See, this is like the thing why when you don't finish off a player like Teal, how he lived, how that's like actually makes it just so much harder, right? The fact that he's just Netflix and chilling here. All right, so we have defenders gathering at the front. Let's go deal with these rams and support our artillery. Um, are they going to be trying to knock that down? Doesn't look like it. Our villagers got away to lumber, which is great. And soon, we're not, we're, it's not quite time for all in yet, but soon we will um, pull some. All right, so springs are here and cannoneers. We're back up in the hills and um, let's do this and have a couple of you guys go target this, 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 and this. Spring alts won't be super useful here for sure. Uh, let's get you back behind the walls and um, get these guys to attack. We could go in shield wall formation, but the rams are thankfully continuing with a lot of our towers. So, come on, get back there. There you go. All right, perfect. So, yeah, the Wang is getting pushed back. He's not making a ton of progress, but he's definitely doing well. Food and wood are still at acceptable levels, and we still have wood being gathered. Um, and we're at five minutes left. Okay. So the Byzantium Empire will fall back here. Do we want to try and steamroll this army with just our core troopers? Might not be a bad idea. And we can gather up here. 
Um, we have adequate reinforcements coming this way. Let's, uh, do we want to crash down? Raiden, you wiping armies. Uh, careful with the bombards, he says. Okay, yeah, so we need to just get, like, on the ramps. Let's pull you guys down this way. Uh, you get that great bombard. If you get the great bombard, then the, he won't be able to really get in. Are those ramps? Oh, those are the springs. So he's looking for another way in, which is smart. Um, very, very smart. But here, we should be able to hold. Um, let's go ahead and start clearing those rams. And we're going to need to start calling in the defenders right here. The side's getting a little bit flimsy, for sure. Let's pull back behind the walls. Um, they're getting a lot of stopping power here, so let's fall back to the defenses. We do have good static here. And this side is a little bit weaker. We don't have as much good static defense here. So we probably just need to do this. And I need to actually, like, wall this if I can. Is there any way I can, like, fit walls here? Yeah, delete that, and um, cool. Now we need to go ahead and get the walls going like so, and like so. Yeah, got a little bit shady there for sure. All right, so rams are in. We need to just go all in on defending this front now, because this side is just going to have to hold with statics um, for as long as possible, because we really need to make sure we don't lose this. Okay, so 41 villagers here. Let's go and delete those. I think we kind of got to go all in at this point, so we're going to just get as much military as we can, including camels and shit, and uh, yeah, cool. This side's looking good. It's going to take him a moment to get through all this, so I think we're okay there. And the walls, are they completing? They are. So let's cut you off, and uh, can we actually get them down the side here? Yeah, and then we're going to have to delete the cistern, unfortunately, which sucks, but it is what it is. All right. Cool. So back to the defenses. Um, Byzantium is enduring so far. Um, they're moving in a lot of artillery on accident, so let's get a lot of horsemen over here to, like, start riding down Artie. And it looks like we steamrolled their armies off, so I think we are enduring pretty well. Uh, let's go get these spring alls out here. Is Red trying to knock a way through? Yeah, he's working on some of the side angles, but... Now we can bring you guys over and really start to party. Okay, so he might charge the Wonder, which would be very scary right now since we don't have, like, as many villagers finishing the walls. Um, yeah, that's actually really frightening. Yeah, we do not have it fully walled yet, so hopefully it will be by the time the Mongolians get through. Um, a lot of raiders, so let's come up this way. And um, the walls should be finishing, so let's just, like, turbo build that if we can. Um, we've gotten in, and that army can go steamroll his artillery. This portion can go over here. And as long as those walls get finished, I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, he's going for that, so let's go ahead and switch to Presidium on these for damage reduction. And is there anything in the front? Not really. Yeah, those spring alls are just poking away, but I think we're in good shape. All right, so let's get in there, steamroll that force from the Wang, and we got many, many brave Romans moving back here. Yes, and they have successfully walled that, so he's not going to be able to get in. He does scout it, though, so he knows what's up. And um, here, the defense is going quite smoothly. Quite smoothly indeed. Yeah, Byzantium is for sure enduring here today, I think. It, history is not going to repeat itself. Our, our glorious aesthetics will survive. All right. So buy a little bit of stone and build a keep here. Kind of a last stand keep. And uh, yeah, we push back this army. He's got bombards and stuff, but I have artillery also. Um, looking good. So back in the front, let's just keep it, keep it up with archers and horsemen. And what do they got? Minute 25? Okay, so we got the desperation keep. Um, we could honestly probably pull back here. I don't think they're going to be able to do much. Let's get our armies in the front. This is way scarier, this frontal push, because Wang is going to have to get through all these towers. It's like, he's got bombards, obviously, but yeah, we should be, um, should be able to hold. All right, so let's gather up. Byzantium will endure. All right, so we got the keep. He could push through this way, but we have so many resources still. Let's get some springs to deal with the great bombards. All of you guys and just engage here, and now we have, we have just flying at him. Um... Great Bombards are moving through. Those need to die. Like, those are a huge, huge threat. All right, let's get you guys. Um, we can pull you up and just have you dive this and this. It's one way to go. It's better than just bleeding, probably. And um, let's move up here. Target the Bombards and Bombards. We need to do that. Biz def defense is no joke. I know, it's not. It's not. It's not. They're good. I think Byzantines are pretty respectable in FFA. They're not, like, OP. Like, you have to work for it and get trade. Yeah, man. The Mango Towers are really cool. Uh, I definitely like those. So we've held them at bay. Um, the Mongols are running out of steam over there. We just need to hold for 51 more seconds, unless I blunder pretty major. I think we're fine. All right, so let's do that. And we can go ahead and relock these walls. So let's get this and this. Great. And um, Ram's still coming through in the front. We are still so solid over here. So solid. Yeah, those armies are breaking. The Ottoman army has moved pretty far. He got the Sacred Site from us, but obviously too late. 
and the walls have been re-secured, so let's do this and rebuild these walls. I mean, I know more rams are coming in, but it's still a good idea to do it. And, uh, oh man, the, we've finally run out of olive oil, but I think we've managed to make our opponents bathe in it long enough. So let's come over here with this horse, run down here, run down here, and um, you guys clean up the last of the attackers there. Let's go build these walls here to wall out any immediate reinforcements. And he's making a run for the wonder, which is, which is, you know, smart, but I think it's fully walled. I don't think there's any way in. I don't think these, like, horses can fly, so. GG, Roman Durs, we've altered history. GG, well played. Yeah, so killing our, taking out our three bottom neighbors, the HRE, the northern neighbors of the Northwest, um, and also Japan was pretty big because that just gave us basically cross map, not cross map, but very, very good trade. And um, from there, the North was definitely, definitely like if Wang, if Wang had gotten that wonder, uh, I don't know. We, I think we could have gotten him. Because with Ottomans pushing like right down this way, plus me setting up a base here and just pushing with China, I don't think the Wang could have held looking at his base. Maybe he could have, maybe. If these are all cannon towers, then yeah, it depends. It would have been close, but GG well played. Um, we were able to get it. So that was a fun one. So you can see kind of Byzantines are, are definitely a solid B tier faction. Maybe maybe even low A's. I don't know. Somewhere in that territory. But for me, I kind of put them at, um, put them at B+. Plus. They're, they're, they're good. They're fun. Olive oil strong. You can get good artillery. Um, we switched all the aqueducts to the uh, damage reduction, which is cool. So it gives you 25% damage reduction on your nearby building. So pretty fun. You could do that for your wonder too. And yeah, all the relics were great. All right. GG well played to these guys. Let's look at the resources. Uh, go to statistics and see economy wise. Yeah, we, we, we crushed it pretty hard. We were pretty much ahead on everything else. So yeah, that was quite a bit. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. See you next time. Take care of yourselves. And that is going to be it for tonight.